I just want to say that. Attention all Walmart shoppers, associates, and managers. My name is Shauna from Cap2. You heard her name. Shauna has something to say. And I just want to come on here and say Henry is a racist, stinky prick. Giovanna is racist. Elias is a prick of a manager. And she is going out with an absolute bang. This company fires black associates for no reason. This company treats their employees like... Straight calling out everybody from the local team to corporate. Especially Cap2 and Jimmy from Sporting Goods. Joseph the cashier. Larry from Garden Center. You are all perverts. And I hope you don't talk to your daughters the way you talk to me. Putting the bigotry and demeaning nature of the job on blast. Shout out to Ariel. Love you for getting me this job a year ago when I needed it most. The managers, this company, this position, that big lazy Chris Price. I quit. This is how you quit a job that destroys your mental health. Major Scarface in half-baked vibes when he quit the burger joint. She spoke with Mother Jones on her video and gave the backstory. Cap 2 is one of the most physical jobs in Walmart, but we got paid the least in the store, and we got yelled at the most, criticized the most watched like hawks the most. Managers would set an example but expect us to follow another one. They would come back and yell at us and tell us to go faster than walk away instead of helping us. The men started getting creepy. They would say things like, take off your clothes, or I like to check you out, or look at my blank. It made me feel really uncomfortable. I've seen these things happen to girls in the past, but nothing happened, so I didn't report it. All I did was awkwardly laugh, walk away, mind my business, and keep to myself for the rest of the day, which is just beyond unfair to ask of someone. This year, we started getting more black cap to associates. They would get fired really quickly within the first month, or if not the first month, then the second month. They always got fired mysteriously. Specific managers would pick on these black people and tell them to go faster and then the next week they would be gone. I brought my boyfriend who was black to Walmart with me and another employee saw me with him. The next day the employee came up to me and said, I didn't expect your boyfriend to look like that. I said, look like what? And he said, well, like a respectable black person, most black people look like thugs. Before we continue, if you would like to support Shauna, here is her cash app. She credits her boyfriend for giving her the confidence to pursue her dreams. Much respect and back to the Mother Jones article. Throughout the truck unloading, the racist who insulted her boyfriend was yelling and stomping around. It was a two-truck day, so it was already a bad day. The managers were already pissed from the night before because we didn't finish our jobs or do it right or whatever. Everybody was mad at everybody. The fact that everybody was walking around, stomping on us, yelling at us, and treating us like they have for the past almost two years, that's what made me upset. As I spoke these names, I reminisced on the horrible year that I had there, and it just ignited a fire in me that just made me even more angry, but even happier to be saying that and then leaving. I hated being another number for some stupid corporation that doesn't appreciate me. I don't have a job and I don't expect to get one now because I graduated in December. So I will be my own boss. So far, it's been a really great start to my new career and I think I'm going to be fine.